So you would expect that the Galaxy S10 is faster than the Galaxy Note 9, the 2019 device versus the 2018 device. Or would you? Well, actually, this is going to be a Galaxy Note 9 with a Snapdragon 845 versus a Galaxy S10e with an Exynos 9820. Which one will win? Let's find out. So on the left-hand side, we have the Galaxy Note 9 from 2018 with the Snapdragon 845. On the right-hand side, we have the Samsung Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820, of course, from 2019. So the question is, is the 2019 device going to beat the 2018 device? And already we see a lead building up by the Galaxy S10e as it was the first into the JSON test. It's also now the first into the compression test. So it's going to zip up those files, unzip them, zip them up again, unzip them and do that several times. And we'll see which device can do that the quickest. At the moment, it's maintaining its lead as it's now gone into the 16 thread test. Of course, the Galaxy uh, S10e with the Exynos 9820 is an octa core device, octa-core processor in that. Of course, the Snapdragon 845 is also an octa-core and it was doing pretty well through those 16 thread tests. It managed those, didn't seem to have any trouble with those at all, but neither does the Snapdragon 845. It's now into the 16 thread test. It's doing quite well. Interesting pattern developing there. A couple of those threads seem to be out ahead of the others as the uh, Exynos 9820 in the Galaxy S10e is now into the infinite scrolling release. But as I said, that it already switched into the smoke particle test. Let's see what kind of frame rate we're going to get from the smoke. 19 frames a second worth mentioning that both devices are running in roughly the same screen resolution full hd plus so there shouldn't be too much of a difference there any flashing you see there on the right hand side is just purely to do with the recording nothing to do with the device and now we're into the unity test on the right hand side what's the frame rate going to be on the left hand side let's just wait for that let's just wait for that was about 14 frames a second there so we can see a difference there between the two now the unity test there was going quite slow on the right hand side of course this is now we're looking at different gpus in one of the one on the right hand side we have the Mali GPU and in the left hand side we have the Adreno GPU from Qualcomm and I can must say clearly you can see that the 845 is going through that unit test much quicker it's handling that much easier it's now they're both coming around it's at the same time to the very end of the valley and oh look at that the Note 9 got there first the Note 9 certainly got there first it's now into the Unreal test so he's managed to claw back that lead that the S10e ad had over it and again you can see it's moving much much, much quicker through that Unreal test. So Unity and Unreal, both different types of tests, different types of platforms. And we can see, there we go, there's the final time. 2 minutes 18.1 and so we can also see the Galaxy S10e coming to the end of its run what's its final time going to be? The clock's still ticking there we go, 2 minutes 28.2 well I think we need to break down those times and see exactly what happened so the Galaxy Note 9 won overall with a time of 2 minutes 18.1 Almost 10 seconds later, the Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820 came in 2 minutes 28.2. So what happened? Well, when we look at the CPU time, we can see that the Exynos 9820 in the Galaxy S10e uh, was a clear winner, 47.8 seconds compared to almost one minute on the nose. And then again, when we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, we see 34 seconds for the Galaxy Note 9, but only 25 seconds for the Galaxy S10e. But then when we get to the GPU, everything becomes uh, turned around. 43.3 seconds for the Galaxy Note 9 and 1 minute 14.5 seconds. So a big difference there that re ultimately resulted in the Galaxy Note 9 winning by just about 10 seconds. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like? And what about sticking around? You could always subscribe to the channel. If you like things on Twitter, there is a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.